So the beginning of the mailroom process was very convoluted. Um, she would put mail in the wrong slots because um, some of them weren't being used and um, names were scattered everywhere, it wasn't in order, and it, there was no way for her to effectively see like what department um, each professor um, was in. And um, she would accidentally put uh, the wrong mail in the wrong slot, uh, which cause a lot of errors. Yeah, and she, uh, the mailboxes just had a number by it, so she had to constantly refer to a list, and the list was ordered from last name to first name, versus when the mail came in, it was first name and then last name, so it just was more confusing, and it took extra time, causing, you know, a lot of different kinds of ways, like motion and transportation, transportation over processing, um, when she put it in the wrong mail slot, and then having to put it in the right mail slot, and um, just a lot of various different problems with the process before. And you can't really see it, but in the process, she did a pre-sort and then had to go through and sort again into mailboxes. So we were doing a sort twice. And there were other times that um, you can tell that she's walking around quite a bit. And mm -hmm. so in our new process, we did our best to try to minimize the walking and transportation that was occurring in the process. Exactly. So um, there was a few problems that we noticed that we will hopefully will be fixing with our new process. So we had some constraints that we had to work through where there were things in the process that we could not change like the location of some of the mailboxes. We didn't know the best way to configure the new process so we did some experiments and here you're seeing the results of some of those experiments where we tried some different configurations and innovations to do the process uh, to try to find the best way of doing it that would minimize the waste. And here's the process after it was fixed. So we put blue um, paper to cover the unused mailboxes. That way there's no way you can accidentally put mail in those um, boxes. And then we also um, co covered each uh, depart uh, each professor with a white sheet of paper that said their first and last name color coded by department so she would easily be able to see it with a bird's eye view. We also created a cell code um, because all of the mailboxes were scattered everywhere so the cell code helped out.